Hey everyone, so I know I look and sound ridiculous, so my upper denture fits pretty good. My lower denture, as you can see, does not fit well at all right now. So the game plan is going to be, I think, um, the extractions went smooth. I was done in about 40 minutes. Um, and then I came home, and then once the note came wore off, the pain really started. But they gave me ibuprofen, so I took that. I'm trying to use my upper denture to keep my lower dentures in right now. I'm learning how to talk with these things. So the plan is I'm allowed to take them out for a short period of time tomorrow. So I think I'm going to take out the lowers so that I can eat solid food. All I've been able to do is drink and get um medicine down i haven't been able to eat anything yet so the plan is i'm allowed to take them out for a short period of time after 48 hours i won't touch the tots because they fit really well i feel like i mean they're really tight and they're a little gaggy because i'm swollen obviously on the inside a little bit on the outside not too horribly bad on the outside but these ones are like uh not what you expected, but it's not their fault. I mean, they did tell me that, like, I had a low ridge. Bottoms are really hard to get to sit right. Even today when I was checking out, sorry, I have to keep swallowing. Um, he said that these lowers, they're going to have to do work on them in, like, two weeks. He said, like, you know, right now we just want to let everything heal before we shave too much off but he's like obviously the lowers are gonna need adhesive to stay in and then they're gonna need some work now these are just my temporaries these are not my permanents so i mean i feel like for day one not horrible um i've seen other people that their videos are a lot more like they look really good for day one like their their teeth fit perfectly they're barely swollen. That wasn't really my experience. Um, I do have a really tiny mouth, though. So my mouth is very small. So, like, these bottom ones, I think that's the other part of the problem. Um, and I only had, like, six teeth in the front. So all these other ones had been pulled before. So there was already shrinkage to the bone and things like that. So I know I look ridiculous, I sound ridiculous, I apologize for that, but I did want to come on, give you an update, and be honest about, you know, the extractions could have went better. I love the tops, like I like the shade, the gums, I would have probably did a little more pink, but that can be fixed for the, for the permanents. The bottoms right now are a hot nightmare, so... Remember um, to like and subscribe, leave me comments, I love comments, but if you have any ideas on what the heck I can do with these things, because I really don't want to use glue for 7 to 10 days, I'm trying to not use adhesive for the first 7 to 10 days, so if anyone has any ideas, you've been through this, you ran into the same thing, and it might just be like, hey, when you go to eat, you're going to have to pop them out and then pop them back in. Um, but if you have any ideas, let me know. Drop them in the comments. But that's a rat day one. I look ridiculous. I sound even more ridiculous because I'm literally using my upper teeth to hold my lower teeth in place right now. So hopefully it seems to kind of shift and move. The swelling shifts and moves. Maybe it will get a little bit better. But that's where we're at today. Today is just going to be liquid, milkshakes, um, things like that. Because with these bottom ones, there ain't no food that's going to work. And they said you not take them out for 24 hours. So, and like I said, I'm not touching the top. Um, they said the top, he said it can go a couple days and then I can do rentas and stuff like that. So the tops I'll probably leave. Because they feel pretty good right now, but these bottoms, you can see, like, they're flopping around, they're starting to rub a little bit. So, any ideas, let me know, but that is update day one.